Hi, in this lesson you will be learning how to program account names or account numbers onto your post space for your departments. You would notice that here under account selections, the default name that the program chooses is cost account one, two, three, four, and so on. You want to go ahead and customize that. By going to Edit and Customize, go ahead and choose Edit and Customize, you would have five choices. This time you're going to choose Accounts. You choose the first account and you could say something like Technical Support. You could even put a number on it if you like and click on the green check mark. Let's go ahead and do another one. Cost account. Let's see, let's name this one customer support. And go ahead and click on the green check mark. Let's do another one. Let's call this one accounting for your accounting department. Yeah, let's put a number on it. You don't have to, but if you want to, you could. Go ahead and click the green check mark. Now, let's see here. If you want to go back and edit it, you can click on it just like I did now, and you could put a number or do whatever you want. I'm going to put 0, 02. And go ahead and click the green check mark. Now you notice that I have three that are customized and the rest are not. You can keep going. And customize as many as the post space allows you to, depending on the attribute account package. Now if you go back to process mail, you would notice that now if you go under account selection, you have three that I customized. And like I said, you can have more choices. And if I want to choose cost account two or three, you can just very simply click on account selection and just switch off. Now this is important because what this does is it keeps accountability for the different departments. So when you're reporting it at the end of every month or whenever you guys do it, it's specific to that account. Why don't you go, go ahead and give uh, this a try on your post space. Thank you.